YouTube, what's going on? It's Will Gerling here, sports and performance nutritionist. And I hope your training's going well because today we're gonna be talking about how you can work out how much sweat you're losing over a session. Whether that's running, riding, whatever activity you're doing, we're gonna learn how to do sweat testing. Let's roll that intro. Yes, that's right, we are gonna be doing sweat testing. I'm gonna tell you the really simple steps on how you can work out how much you're losing over a given activity, session, ride, run, hour of exercise, so you know how much to hydrate yourself for these activities. This is something that's really important over the winter months because we end up moving inside more and doing a lot more inside sessions which means that you are probably gonna be sweating a lot more on that turbo or treadmill. Now, hydrating over these sessions is important, but it's not gonna be of detriment unless you're doing long, long indoor sessions, something like two hours or greater. But what this will do is also help you get yourself ready for those sessions you're gonna be doing in the future when spring comes around or in summer. This is obviously a video you can use in summer as well, especially worth doing in the few weeks leading up to a race. Around four to six weeks up to a race, I would regularly do a sweat test to see how it's changing because we obviously acclimatize. It takes two weeks, two whole weeks to acclimatize. So if you are going to a race or event or doing something, and you're only getting there a few days early, and it is somewhere considerably warmer, then you may struggle a bit more. But knowing this, we can obviously get there a bit early, or there are other things that we can do that I may do in another video to talk about how you can acclimatize to events you're doing elsewhere. But let's get into the things that you need to do to do a sweat test. First off, you need a specific period of time session. It needs to be maybe one hour is probably the best. One hour, run, ride, gym session, whatever you're doing, okay? You need to weigh yourself before, naked. That's right, not other people looking though, you could just, just you. But weigh yourself naked before. You then need to drink a controlled amount of water this could be one bottle's worth, or 500 mils, 600 mils, whatever it needs to be or you want. You need to drink the whole of the bottle over that session, and equally, not all at the end. Now, water weighs exactly the same as it does in milliliters to grams. So one liter of water equals one kilo of weight. Once you've done your session, so your one hour session, you've drunk all of that water, you then need to go back to your scales. You need to dry yourself down, wiping off any excess sweat, and once again, weigh yourself naked. This isn't gonna work if you are at the CrossFit gym, or at the gym in general, but weigh yourself again, and that weight is gonna be the amount of weight that you lost. Now, if you do this over a longer ride or run or session, you will also be accounting for glycogen losses there and it won't be as accurate as what a sweat test for just one hour may be. Though obviously there will be glycogen loss even in one hour session. Let's say you started off at 75 kilos. You did the session, you drank 500 mils over the whole session. You finished that session at 74.5. We know then that over a one hour session that specific intensity and at that ambient temperature in the room that you have lost one kilo and as such you will lose one liter of water an hour at that intensity at that room temperature and this information is really useful we also know that body weight losses of greater than two percent dehydration can start to impair performance now there is research coming out that suggests otherwise that we can train to be better in a dehydrated state and that does seem to be true. 
But an easy rule of thumb is to say avoiding 2% or greater losses of body weight in dehydration is what you want to avoid. So obviously if you weigh 75 kilos, 1% is going to be 0.75 of a kilo. So 2% is going to be 1.5 kilos or 1.5 liters of water. Now the other recommendations there are out there also suggest that you don't want to maintain a eu-hydrated state. Eu-hydrated meaning a stable hydration state. So staying the same. So if you lose a liter an hour, you don't want to be drinking a liter an hour. Obviously it's fine to only have 500 mils. The only issue is going to be in four hours, you'll become greater than 2% dehydrated. In which case then it's a problem. Now we've gone over how to do your hydration test. We've gone over what that means and what that number then relates to and what you need to do about that. Now it's important not to overhydrate or to underhydrate. Overhydration can see hyponatremia. And I've done a video further on the levels of hydration and what you need to be doing to maintain hydration link in the corner but hydration testing is super important this is a really quick and easy video for you guys to be able to implement this into your training and know a bit more about how much you sweat and if you need to be taking special considerations for this drop a comment down below let me know how much you've sweated and how much your losses are over an hour in this always interested to know I hope you enjoyed today's video though. drop a comment down below Subscribe to the channel because I know there's some of you out there that have not yet subscribed to this channel. So subscribe, hit that button. And remember guys, always fuel for the work required and I'll see you again soon. Bye.